Linus Pauling was born on February 28, 1901 in Portland, Oregon. By age nine, Linus was an avid reader and had an interest in studying chemistry. Pauling conducted several chemistry experiments in high school, savaging much of the equipment from a nearby abandoned steel plant. In the fall of 1917, Pauling was accepted to Oregon State University. Through his research, Linus became one of the founders of the new science of quantum chemistry. He received his Ph.D. in physical chemistry and mathematical physics in 1925. In 1927, Pauling took a new position as an assistant professor at Caltech in theoretical chemistry. He introduced the concept of electronegativity in 1932. He established a scale which associated a numerical value for most of the elements, the Pauling electronegativity scale which is useful in predicting the nature of bonds between atoms and molecules. This, this scale is still used today. In the mid-1930s, Linus decided to redirect his efforts into a new area of interest, molecular biology. Pauling began researching the structures of organic molecules instead of inorganic molecules. Before the 1950s, scientists were unclear if the origin of life's building blocks were in DNA or the cell's proteins. The majority of the scientists believe that the building blocks were located in proteins since proteins contain 20 amino acids and DNA only contained 4. As a result, most of the research was conducted on proteins and their shape. Linus discovered many important protein structures during this time, but he is most famous for discovering the alpha helix. This is a repetitive structure seen in several different protein structures, including hair and muscle fibers. In the summer of 1952, scientists finally determined that the cell's building blocks came not from protein, but from DNA. This sparked a mad rush to determine the structure for DNA. At the time, Linus Pauling was the world's leading structural chemist and was the odds favorite to find the structure of DNA. In the fall of 1952, Linus went to several conferences, including a conference by Robley Williams, a Berkeley professor who used an electron microscope and took one of the first pictures of DNA. From this picture, Linus Pauling determined that DNA was likely a helical structure. Linus knew that DNA was made from four amino acids, ribose, sugar, and phosphate. Pauling decided to build the helical structure with the phosphates in the center of the helical core with the bases pointing outwards. For this to work, the phosphates had to be neutrally charged, so we added an additional hydrogen atom to the phosphate. As a result, the phosphates would only fit in the helical core if DNA had a triple helix. Linus Pauling was convinced he had figured out the structure of DNA in less than a week, but his assistant thought differently. Pauling's assistant, Robert Corey, was a very meticulous scientist. He made detailed calculations of the proposed atomic positions of the phosphates located in the core of Pauling's triple helix. According to the calculations, the phosphates could not fit without breaking their molecular bonds. Linus decided to ignore these findings and focus on making everything fit in the triple helix first, and then work on the details later. Linus Pauling finished his paper on the triple helix in January 1953 and sent his paper to his son, Peter Pauling who at the time was a student at Cambridge. Linus asked that he take the paper to be reviewed by another team who was looking into the structure of DNA, James Watson and Francis Crick. James Watson reviewed the manuscript and realized Pauling had gotten it wrong. His DNA structure was the same as their failed first model from 1951. Watson realized Pauling did not have the clearer X-ray patterns created by Maurice Wilkins and was using the blurry X-ray patterns from William Asbury. The blurry images clearly hindered Linus from discovering the correct structure. Watson also knew that the phosphates had to be negatively charged at the pH of a normal cell and they could never be packed that close into the core of the triple helix. Although Linus Pauling failed at finding the correct structure of DNA, he is still considered the most important chemist and arguably the most important American scientist of the 20th century. Both Watson and Crick admitted that Linus Pauling was a role model, and they used his research methods, model building, chemical knowledge, and modern physics in their work on DNA.